Have you ever just started feeling dizzy or sleepy or just you're not able to concentrate very well all of a sudden like this? Even though you slept all night long very well and you exercise regularly, you're healthy, but you just all of a sudden can't focus or everything's just, something's not right. You know what can be the problem? Is the air quality. Or have you ever been in a room where all the, all the windows are closed and it just gets so stuffy? That is also air quality. That's where all the CO and the CO2 just get too high in the room. But what can you do about this? Do you always have to open a window and freeze yourself in the winter or be super high in the summer? I wish there was something to help with that. There is! So this is Air Notice. It measures carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, TVOC, micro dust, which I call death dust, humidity and temperature. All of these six things are measured in the air by this cool device, Air Notice. Let me show you a little bit more about this. It's, the size is very small, compact. There's only one button on top and that toggles between the six different things that it measures let me show you. Press and hold to turn it on. And yeah, it's on. Air notice. <laughs> so this screen actually shows all of those six factors all in one little tiny screen. So that's, let's keep it right there. There we go. And if there's too much CO2 in here, it'll let us know. But let's talk about CO2, carbon dioxide. I'm not a chemistry teacher, but I know it's not good for you if you have too much of it around you. Did you know that CO2 causes chronic fatigue or drowsiness or low concentration and even insomnia? That's why I can't sleep, maybe. <laughs> I need one of these. <laughs> We're, lately, we've been staying inside so much uh, during COVID, the pandemic, or where I'm living is super, super hot in the summer and I don't want to go outside or it's about to get cold. Winter is coming. Winter is coming and I can't keep the window open all the time. I'm going to freeze my family out. But this will let us know when I have to open the window or, or uh, increase the ventilation because if there's too much CO2, I think more than 1500 parts per million, the error notice will ring the alarm and then that's when I'll open the window and ventilate my abode so my family can breathe fresh air. Have you ever been driving and then all of a sudden felt sleepy? That might be because you need more sleep. Or it might be because you're in a small and trapped closed area and the CO2 levels are increasing, which would make you more tired. So it would be cool if you had this air notice with you while you're driving. It'll give you the alarm when there's too much CO2 in the air. All you have to do is roll down the window, let it all refresh the air, you know? Close the window and keep on driving. This is pretty cool. I'm, like It's so portable and compact, so you can just take it anywhere, even in the car. It's got this really non-slip uh, bottom part, so put it on your car. It's not going to go anywhere unless you drive crazy like I do sometimes. But anyways, that is going to stay right here on my drive from now on. Now, carbon monoxide is a little bit more serious. If you get carbon monoxide poisoning, you're gonna start with a headache and it can turn into vomiting and before you know it, you're gonna pass out. And if nobody gets you out of that enclosure, in that small tiny space, you could die. I mean, this is kind of serious, but uh, carbon monoxide is really scary. If you have a leak in your house or in your garage or if you're camping and there's just too much smoke around you, you could die. Luckily, this thing right here, the air notice will inform you if there is more than 100 parts per million and it will set off an alarm. That way you can get out of there. You can escape and you can get fresh air and survive. And because it has a really nifty long battery life, you can take this wherever you go. You can go take this to the garage that you're working in. You can take this to the kitchen that you're cooking in. You can take this to, uh, to the campsite that you're camping at. This is very portable. I wish it had a little belt clip so that it can connect to your belt and you can go wherever you go. That would be cool. So the next thing I want to talk about is TVOC, which means total volatile organic compounds. Now again, I'm not a chemist, but I know some chemicals like benzene or tulane, too much of this stuff can really give you a bad day. 
TBLC can damage our organs like our lung and our lungs and our hearts and uh, it can even attack our central nervous system. And this stuff is scary because it stacks in the air. If you're using too much cleanser or paint, like spray paint or something like that, or even air fresheners, of course, using one of these at a time is okay, but if you use all of these at the same time, then it stacks in the air, it builds up. And if you wanna keep your house safe, then you're gonna to have to know how much is actually in the air around you so you know when to open the window and refresh the air. Good thing the air notice can let us know when there's too much of that junk in the air and when to open your window to refresh the air. And the next thing I wanna talk about is the temperature and humidity level. Check that out. It tells you how cold or hot it is. It also tells you how much humidity is in the air. There's only one button on the air notice. So let me tell you how to use this one button. You hold it to turn it on. You can hold it to turn it off. You can actually use the button, click twice to connect to Bluetooth, and you can use the Bluetooth uh, connected to your phone and see what's going on where the device is actually located. That way you can, you know, know what's going on at your house or wherever it is. I wanted to impress you with how cool the air notice actually is. If you see all of these little devices on my right, you're going to see, well, this is the death dust reader. This one is the CO2 reader. This is a thermometer. This is the carbon monoxide reader. What does this one do? Uh, TVOC reader. This one does a few things. So this one is the most similar to this product right here, the, the air notice but this one is a little bit finicky and it, it doesn't have all of this. But this one has all of these devices in one. That is awesome. Let me tell you why I think this is a little bit finicky. Let me show you why. First of all, when it's reading the CO2, it's not in a direct way of reading, it's like in an indirect way of reading it, which can be confusing to the reader and to the person who's trying to survive so that is why it's a little bit finicky. Let me show you after it eventually turns on. Okay, we got the time. Also, the fan in this. Do you hear that? What do I mean by finicky? Well, besides this weird motor that you can hear inside that's so annoying. Uh, let me show you what happens with the CO2. It says it's slightly high right now. It's been jumping up and down from normal to slightly high. But what happens? when I put some alcohol next to it. And I don't understand why this happens, but watch this. We have the CO2 is normal. I'm gonna open this right next to it. And all of a sudden, it's jumping up, it's spiking. Very high. Okay, well, maybe lack of oxygen in the air can do that. But let's see what happens with this. I'm gonna turn that off, because that's so annoying. Okay, now this one is saying the CO2 is normal, about 1,000, and this is slowly going up. No, it's not going up. Now, it was explained to me that this is reading direct CO2 levels, and the other one was indirectly reading it, so it's going to give you false readings whereas this one's going to give you the accurate and the real reading of CO2. So in conclusion, with the contrasting and comparing little section that we're doing here, this is all of this all in one. A small, sleek, beautiful design with the retro font inside of here. This, this is pretty cool. All of this over here is really bulky. It's just so much. If you want to do everything that this does, you'll need all of this. Who's gonna carry this around to figure out the death dust? You don't need this. Just get one of these. That's all there is to it. <laughs>